we will have the same impact on human health and medicine as the discovery of antibiotics had. That was a clip from Yahoo Finance's documentary exploring how Silicon Valley startup culture played a role in Theranos' downfall. And now one more chapter closes as the company's former president is convicted of fraud. And we have Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan here to discuss what are the details of this. Jared, this was pretty stunning verdict, and particularly because Sonny Belwani, the former president and COO of Theranos, and also Elizabeth Holmes, former romantic partner, mm -hmm. uh, he got a much harsher sentence from a different jury than the jury that tried Elizabeth Holmes back in January and found her guilty on four counts. So here's what the jury handed down for Belwani, guilty on 12 of 12 counts of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud against investors and paying pay of Theranos. He faces 20 years in prison, and each of those counts, the wire fraud counts, they come with $250,000 in potential fines. So he's facing a lot of potential penalties here. We are expecting him to appeal. But just to take us back a minute, uh, Sonny Belwani was the right-hand man of Elizabeth Holmes, and Elizabeth Holmes founded Theranos, the blood testing company that was uh, collapsed after a Wall Street Journal expose showed that the company Company could not, in fact, perform the blood test that it was promising its customers by a finger stick, meaning that it would just take a few drops of blood and be able to produce hundreds of tests, common blood tests that you would get in uh, an average doctor's office visit. They wanted to put those in Walgreens and CVSs and Safeways and have this be a, a very accessible way for people to access periodic snapshots of their health. Uh, so this really does close another chapter, but for the sentence of both Elizabeth Holmes, that will come in September, and the sentencing for Belwani will come in November. Alexis, we had a really interesting conversation offline. I'd like to bring it online. And this has to do with the big picture view of, uh, we talk about chilling effects sometimes in the legal business. Could this have a chilling effect on fraud? Because these are two high profile people that are going to jail for a long time, putatively. Maybe. 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 We'll see what happens with the sentencing. Uh, but is, is it possible that this would somehow deter more fraud in the VC startup culture, which I think has a carryover from the financial industry of just pushing for profits too hard, too fast, grow at scale? Your thoughts? Yeah, so that is something that we were exploring in the documentary that we produced and followed this story over two and a half years waiting for uh, both of these verdicts. And what we did is we looked at the confluence of factors that came together in order for this to happen. Yes, did you have omissions and lies as the jury is found in both cases for Holmes and Bawani? Yes, but there were also prominent investors. You had Don Lucas, you had the uh, Walton family investing here. You had former Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos's family. Uh, you had also a board of directors that's second to none. You had former Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger. You had Secret former Secretary of Defense, James Mattis, former Senator Sam Nunn. Uh, so the number of people that were supposedly watching over and caring about and invested in this company, uh, we were looking at how hard did these folks really press to get transparency from the company. So that was one of the things we were looking at. And we we're also looking at whether uh, the vigilance of those folks will change based on these verdicts. And perhaps this was a really high profile case. So this could absolutely change the culture of how we see Silicon Valley operate. Yeah, important to note here too that Theranos, Enron, all products of an era of, uh, well, it was a bubble busting, right? There's never one Paul Meadow bug. I hope Val appreciates that. Well, it's time for us to go here. That was Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan with the latest chapter of Theranos Trial. For more on the rise and fall of Theranos, watch Valley of Hype streaming now on Yahoo Finance.